President Recep Tayyip Erdogan met with Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif as part of his official trip to Asia where the two leaders discussed enhancing bilateral relations and global and international issues of mutual interest to the two countries. Erdogan visited Pakistan after he paid official visits to China and Indonesia in a bid to boost Turkey's economic and political ties with Asian countries, announcing Turkey's readiness to join the main dialogue platform in the region, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN. After his midweek visit to China, Erdogan was hosted by Indonesian President Yoko Widodo in an official ceremony in Jakarta on Friday. He then moved on to Pakistan, where he was welcomed by Sharif, the chief minister of the province of Punjab, and Pakistani Foreign Minister Sertaj Aziz. The two leaders went for a bilateral meeting at the Nurkan Air Base Lounge, according to a press statement sent out by the Pakistani embassy in Ankara on Sunday. The Prime Minister appreciated the personal contribution of the Turkish president to the growth and expansion of Pakistan-Turkey relations, it said. According to the statement, the Turkish president expressed his hope that mutual cooperation between the two countries shall increase in the future. The Prime Minister hosted a banquet in honor of the Turkish president before his departure. While in Indonesia Erdogan emphasized Turkey's willingness to further relations with Indonesia by noting that the Asia-Pacific region has become more important in the global economy, adding that Turkey is ready to join ASEAN. ASEAN was founded in 1967 and currently comprises Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. Before his trip to Indonesia, Erdogan met with high-level Chinese officials with whom he was he was reported to have discussed Turkey's possible purchase of a Chinese missile and China's treatment of its Uyghur minority. Erdogan was accompanied by a delegation comprising top members of the interim government, Foreign Minister Mevlutavulu, Economy Minister Nihat Zibesai, Energy and Natural Resources Minister Tainer Yldz, Health Minister Mehmet Mezinolu and Transportation, Maritime Affairs and Communications Minister Faridun Bilgin.